guys okay so we are going to be talking about some SAT subject tests today math math I took it June of my junior year I took math 2 um, math 1 is just like I don't even see a point in taking math 1 especially if like you're taking math 2 already why would you take both Math one, sure the stuff on it is easier, but the curve is way worse. So if you get like one wrong, you're already like not gonna get an 800. While for math two, I think you can omit six questions and still get an 800. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong, but I do remember omitting like maybe two or three questions on that test and I still got an 800. Oh yeah, so math two, I got an 800. Um, the way I studied for math too, I took it, so I took math too after I took BC Calc, which you don't need calculus knowledge for that exam at all. Um, you can definitely just take it after you take Algebra 2 Trig um, and Geometry. They have some geometry on that. Um, yeah, it was like fine. Oh, I studied using the Barron's Math 2 book, which was very comprehensive, it had everything on it, um, and then I also took a practice test from the College Board Blue Book that's just for the subject SATs, um, because those tests are, like, gonna be the most realistic since they're by College Board, you know, while Barron's, they're gonna be, like, kind of harder than the actual test, which is also good because then you'll, like, um, over-prepare. Um, but yeah, uh, I think for math, I kept getting like, the ones I kept getting wrong were like all in like a specific topic, so that's the topic that I like went back to and studied. I'm so terrible at trig, so I definitely had to study that a lot again, the whole, what is it, um, you have like the C and then on the the qu quadrants you have all students take calculus and that's how you know like so the, the first quadrant all of them are positive the second quadrant um is it si sine is positive and then tangent and then cosine is positive i had to like re-memorize all those things um stuff like that i don't really yeah i don't know okay i'm definitely missing things from this video, so let me know down below if you have any specific questions that I didn't cover here. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend using Barron's and I'd recommend using the College Board Blue Book to take practice tests out of. Um, yeah, you're allowed to o omit a few questions that you don't know how to do because it's better to omit them than guess on them, I think. I think it's still like that for the subject SATs, right? Um, because I know they changed it for the actual SAT. But yeah, okay. Moving along to... Literature! Okay! 